Hello, welcome to the sixth Sunday of Easter. We're coming to the end of Eastertide now. Jesus tells his disciples that he will not leave them because his Holy Spirit will be there and they should be led and taught by it in the same way as they were by him. And if you want to see a great example of how the Spirit works, we can see that today in this today's first reading in the Acts of the Apostles. Because we heard about Philip, who was the one who went to preach the good news in Samaria. Last week, we heard that he appointed one of the seven assistants. He was appointed one of the seven assistants to the 12 apostles. These seven were supposed to take care of all the administrative work so that the apostles could get and spend more time doing the actual job of preaching. But now, right after he's been assigned the role of assistant, Philip seems to have left that job already and is preaching himself, way off into the countryside in a part of the world of Samaria that a Jew would never go to voluntarily. Samaria is filled with people everyone distrusted as unclean heretics. Maybe you've seen people like this who decided they saw something that needed to be done, not work that immediately made a lot of sense or even work they felt they were particularly well trained to do. I think here particularly of our founding sisters who stepped out in courage and faith, just five sisters, to found a new Dominican congregation in 1994. They were called by the Holy Spirit to step out in faith with no real roots or necessary resources to discover a new way of living in consecrated life. But trusting in the Holy Spirit to lead and guide them, they were led to the house in which we now live and followed the promptings of the Holy Spirit to become true preachers of the Word of God. The pandemic, which enveloped the world in 2020, provided us with the inspiration to reach out to as many people as we could who were in isolation. And thus, our new mission was born and nurtured by the power of the Holy Spirit during this time of lockdown. Now, post-COVID, we have continued to follow the promptings of the Holy Spirit into a project that we call Light of Truth. We felt called to reach out to individuals, parishes, schools, and provide them with a means to enable others to become part of our mission. As Dominican sisters, our mission is to proclaim the gospel by our lives and our words. We live in the UK, in the New Forest, and we live a community life of prayer and praise, of study and preaching, according to our Dominican tradition. Our small congregation of diocesan rite, with just five sisters, was established in 1994 in the Diocese of Portsmouth. With this project, Light of Truth, we hope to share with everyone the fruits of our contemplation, the fruit of our prayer and of our academic formation, and our rich experience of working with adults, catechists and young people at the service of parishes and dioceses, which we have done for the last 25 years. Through Light of Truth, we aim to offer formation which will provide a rich experience of the fraternal life of our community and a fellowship in the church. Everything we offer is free. We do not charge a set free for our work, but we do suggest that if you do like what we have done and have benefited from it, you might consider donating towards our work for the future so that we may continue to bring God's work to the whole world in the power of the Holy Spirit. May God bless and reward you for all your continued support and look out for the ways that the Holy Spirit may be inspiring you to go forth and do something you've never dreamt of doing. He will be with you if you trust in him.